So So let's see what's happening. Yo guys Let's see if I can share the stream Hello Lycan. Yo guys, I just woke up. I want to make a quick stream about Asphalt Legends Unite. And I will just talk about my thoughts about this update and I will play a bit. So here I have the patch notes and stuff. I hope I am allowed to share. <laughs> and yeah. So, how are you guys doing? It's been three months. <laughs> Live reaction. So we will talk a bit about what's gonna come and basically how the game is gonna be, how it's gonna change forever and stuff. So... Let's send the link everywhere, first of all. Okay, I'm sending. the fuck I found uh, a channel here got some viewers right now let's play a bit and then we can talk i guess let's hope i can get i don't know like 50 viewers hopefully but it's been three months so i don't expect anything so yeah let's see a 
We will play a bit of MP. Let's hope our device does not like. Oh, I forgot to check the sound. No, I'm locked already. Reaction, A, or what's up? What's up, bro? See if I can find the playlist now. Frostbite, what's up? I'm waiting for a bit more viewers so then we can show the, the thing here. I have it ready, so I'm just waiting. Lower a bit the sound here. Hello, everyone. Thirty one viewers. Can we reach fifty viewers? Let's see. Try to make an early stream. I'm not trying to. Not be very late. I'm anyway late with it, but I had work so. Checking the donation and they almost wrecked. So let me finish this race. Yo, El Medin Krupalia, thank you very much, man, for your donation. How can I? What is this? Oh, wow! Oh, I can like this. <laughs> Bye, OC Pass. <laughs> hey, thanks for the donation, man. Really appreciate it.
So, top features coming in ALU. Cross-platform including cross-play among all platforms. Launching on PS4 on the 5th. New co-op game mode tops the syndicate. Improved game engine. Introducing dynamic lightning and other effects. New track, Singapore. And what else? New UI, both menus and in-game. New garage, a whole new look. New garage level cap. So finally we will have some more levels in, in the game. Yo, Snoop Dogg. So, so now we dropped back to, yo, Alex, what's up, man? As you can see, I'm barely surviving with 24 viewers. <laughs> But that's three months of inactivity, man. So the more I am inactive, the more I am just um, destroying my channel, you know. now that ramp is weird they fixed it oh no <laughs> very nice let's see if we can catch up now I don't think but Definitely ready for a uh, close platform. Yeah, I'm asking, but no one is answering here. I just want to speak a bit about, together with the opinion of the others. So what do you think about close platform? What do you think is going to happen to this game? but hard to gain top 100. That's true, actually. It will be hard. For example, I have top 1 in uh, TLE right now. Um, when cross will be there, I don't think I can be easy top 1, like right now. Yeah, we are nowhere close to the garages that they have in Windows. So, I don't think we will be able to be fair, even from garage-wise. It's just going to be a huge difference. Very huge difference. So, 37 viewers, that's really nice. I would be so happy if we get 50 right now. We're actually shocked. <laughs> Look at this single bar. It makes no sense. Things in this game makes no sense. Sometimes. 
you might have the best knowledge in the game, but then there is no explanation. And then you ask yourself, what's actually happening to this game? Windows has a better garage, but it's harder to play if you don't have a controller. Hmm. Well, you're talking to the controller manager, so... <laughs> Yo, cool. So let's check the notes here. Asphalt is re-owned for its online multiplayer and we're bringing you the chance to play with your friends. Yo, Fra. With crossplay, we're open doors to the new world of possibilities. So you will be able to play against others, no matter which platform you choose to play on. Yeah, okay. And then the friend list and stuff like that. So, let's hope I don't get spammed with friends. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but yeah, it will be very easy with Game of ID, just like other games, to play all together and... Yeah man, the font is looking weird, I also don't like it, I didn't like it, to be honest, at first. Um, I'm wondering if it's something that you have to get used to it or something. Or, I don't know. But this is how it looks like. And I don't know. And maybe after we get used to it, we will say, you know what? The old phone was, was not so good. But it looks very rounded, let's say. And... Oh, man. But I think like um, they took a pic from you in Counter GSL. That's right. <laughs> they took my um, my car, you know, which I won with. <laughs> we need to get a toggle switch on for a lot of things in this game, not just the the new or the old font. One of them, the, for example, the best. Addition to the game will be, yes, I, I just woke up, sorry, yes, I just woke up, yes. The, um, um, the best addition to the game will be adding a retry button. Wow, it's so hard to add that in this game. And guess what? It saves a ton of time all of a sudden. So when you play a time-limited event, for example, for example, let's say I play here, top one. I, I mess up in a race and then I can just pause and retry. Wow. Something so crazy. But it saves so much time. Make a 56 with devil put... <laughs> you see, guys, that sometimes you look at the leaderboards or you look at the lap times and you say why is windows always ahead now nowadays <laughs> and there is a um, there is a simple answer to it and there is also a complicated answer to it and the simple one is just that more and more controller players are just waking up and that shows that slowly they are understanding what kind of power they have in their hands. So they are making more and more impossible laps. Simple one. They're better than you. I wish I could say that as well. You know, I wish I could say, you know what, they're just better. But for you, the only thing I can say is we cannot compare. Um, with each other, so I cannot say I, I can compare with uh, Azimo or Knight or Driver. I cannot compare because there is a huge difference and disadvantage on my side. And mm. 
One second. Yeah, man, there is a huge disadvantage. I'm sure I will be recorded now and everyone will send some clips and stuff. But... Um, um, yeah, there's a huge difference in the gameplay. If you check, some people... Um, I mean, I think most of the pro players, if not all of them, I'm not going to talk about all of them because I'm not sure if I can get in touch with all of them right now. But almost all of the pro players, they know the truth that the controller is just much better in comparison to Tilt. But they don't want to admit it. They don't want to say it. And you will ask yourself, hey, why don't you, why are you not saying the truth or why are you not just admitting it? And the reason for that is that they will lose some friends. They will, um, they don't want to devalue their laps. So imagine I'm making a very good lap and all of a sudden I'm saying, you know what? I partially made that because I have the controller, not because I'm just better than everyone else. And it's devaluing their lap. So I understand that they don't want to speak about it. Um, and I'm surprised no one is asking what is actually the, the difference here between controller and tilt. And most people, even just random players, they know things that is very obvious. What advantage does controller have? For example, let's talk about um, the best car right now, like uh, Devil 16, right? The gameplay we have seen with controller, and yeah, my voice is a bit down because I just woke up. The difference we have seen um, is that on controller, they're just making impossible lap times now. Um, reaction time on controller is much lower compared to tilt. In which sense, by the way? Because... Um, I don't think the reaction time... Ah, yes, it's much lower. Yes, the reaction time. So you're saying it as reaction time. I will call it the inputs that the controller and tilt has is a huge difference. So, steering, firing nitro, yes. And as, I mean, you yourself, you've played with controller, right? Yourself. So you play with controller. So even you, you can admit it. And you say what's actually the difference. And people say, oh yeah, but it's such a small difference. It's not going to make a difference in the lap time. Come on, you can catch up. Come on, you can just be, you can just be better, you know. But yeah. There's reaching a point now in this game, which I believe myself, let's say, that I have maxim maximized the knowledge that I can um, apply in this game to find ways out of the... Um, to find ways, let's say, out of the situation. With a controller, it's like you already have a solution for everything. That's FPS, not a controller problem. Tilly needs a lot of effort to autofload, whereas controller can do it. Yes! And some guys are speaking out of experience on both. And I myself, I don't have experience of controller yet. So you will say, hey, you know what? You haven't tried yourself. You cannot even speak about it. But for me to, to make, to be able to make world records, top one in the time limited events and stuff like that, I am able to analyze the laps carefully and see why I'm making a world record or why the controller players have a better lap time than me. And it's very simple. It's not because of the they have like some higher knowledge 
about this game because they don't. And most of the knowledge, in my opinion, it came from iOS. All, even the basic roots, it was all invented from iOS. The Windows was nowhere to be seen in the past. Um, there were, of course, some players that were good, okay, but the most of the knowledge came from iOS. If we talk about Saitoki and Huikun and Joker and so many players in the game that invented a lot of things and even the basic route that you're driving right now came from them. And Alex included also. So, like, knowledge-wise, even to this day, they're still lacking, you know, they're still not there, let's say. They just have a very powerful, um, they have a very powerful, like, weapon in their hands, you know. And imagine having the best weapon in your hands, but you don't know what to do with it. And you're doing random things and you're still beating like a top iOS player without putting effort, you know. So it's very disappointing to watch. And then you ask yourself, how is it even possible? And it's, it's very simple, you know. It's the controls that the controller has allows you to do whatever you actually want in your mind. One of them is having 100% precision in the game. And, and you, you will ask yourself, why do you need 100% precision in this game? You need the precision in order to have a better result in everything, in a turn, in the air, when you align the car, um, you need that in order to, to play at the car's best potential. Now, if I don't touch the steering on a controller, what happens? And then you ask yourself, okay, what happens if I don't touch? It's very simple and obvious answer. So if I don't touch the steering, let's say, I'm deciding to not touch. My car is automatically at 100% precision, which is almost impossible to do on iOS. For me, when I'm holding my iPad, let's say, I'm holding it right now, let's, um, let's play a multiplayer race, for example. I can never be at 100% precision. It doesn't allow me to do that because it's like a human human control. It's not like a robot control. And you will argue like tap to steer actually has a hundred percent precision. Tap to steer. But um, um, tap to steer on the other side has other problems, other bigger problems. Uh, because you have to tap a million times on the screen to just make a, a freaking turn. Imagine having to do a nitro punch or a floaty or, or whatever. It's really, really hard. With a controller, every problem you have is solved. What are the main problems when making TLA lab? Being 100% precise, which controller al allows you. Having impossible inputs, being able to align at such, uh, such speeds that is impossible to do on tilt because just the device itself doesn't allow you to align so quick. Look, just right now, for example, if I want to shockwave, I have to double tap like this. To the human eye, to normal viewer, maybe it's not visible. But if you see controller players, they're abusing this in every Tilly lab. If you show me like one Tilly lab that is not being that is not being abused, like going like this, boom, and somehow instantly shockwaving. The instant shockwave saves a lot of time in this game if you add it up. So if you add 10, 15 ms in every section or 20 ms, five sections, 100 ms, 10 sections, 
to randomness. Let's say it, it's at least 20. Um, I will also use that. I will come to that point. The instant shockwave allows you, it unlocks you to a lot of things. For me, having to align, and then I have to... Imagine I make the turn in, in Tiberstream, the zigzag part, okay? Because I played that map a lot when it was uh, the Vuelto series. And me and Oyocha, who Oyocha is also arguably, if not the best, probably tilt player right now, we both failed to keep the speeds of controller. And I believe we both have maximized the knowledge of how this game works. So um, you will see random players on controller make the turn at an impossible speed for fun, for without effort. And you're wondering, what the heck is happening in this game? <laughs> and, and you know what? You're not only wondering, you ask yourself, how can I do that? Because as a pro player, you're always looking for ways to do things and achieve or fix all of the problems that you have in Ella, you know? And I will show you the video right now. Hopefully I don't get copyright strike. Um, but you will see a random person. I will now bring up a fit here. Um, he was making the turn for fun. So let's say you can make a better turn. Um, eight out of ten times on a time limited event. And for me, to make that turn with that speed, it's impossible. I never got it. Oyocha never got it as well. So then, it's... It's very sad, you know? It's like you see it in, in front of you. Like, l let's say I can do that section one time. Then you ask yourself, how consistent is it? If you compare one out of 10 versus eight out of 10, it's a huge difference. If I make it once out of 100 laps and they make it 85 out of 100 laps, who has the higher chance of making the best lap time ever? Oh yes, it's very obvious because the game is just maths at this point. So let's find the video. Let's find the video. Carson. Carson Asphalt, the Vuelto Tiber. Yes, I already searched it before. I think I remember it was this lap. Exact here, but for four years. Ich habe meinen Amazon FBA und Dropshipping Lager und die Produkte, die stehen hier noch. Oh man, die Sides. Skip Server. So let's check here carefully. Three thirty-three, and his turn was not so good actually, so it could be even better. His execution was not so good because he messed up the exit. Every time you see the steering here on the left that is not moving, it's in the middle. That means that the car is automatically at a hundred percent precision. Can you imagine that? Being able to access a hundred percent precision here. Like whenever he just doesn't touch it, it's automatically 100%. Imagine I could have access to such things on iOS. Like, let's check again the turn. So, me and Oyocha both tried this, and we never got the speed, for example. I think here, a driver, or anyone that I watch who play with controller, to get the speed for fun. So what, are they just smarter than me? You know, it's, it's upsetting. And you will say, oh yeah, but it's a small difference. But this is what adds up to the difference in the end. Whether it's with slower cars or with faster cars. With what other advantage does controller bring us? Some impossible inputs, big, 
Big 71, what is his channel? Asphalt 9, maybe we can find. For example, this guy was okay, very good in the game. But once he got into the controller, all of a sudden, he's a world record player. My audio is broken. Is my audio fine now? Let me check. No, it's fine. Fry, you have your problems. Anyway, this guy, he was very good, okay? Let's admit it. He's okay, very good. He managed to qualify in esports by 1MS. Congratulations to the Barcelona event. But he never actually made the, an actual world record. And he switched to the controller. And all of a sudden, he makes world records. He makes impossible laps. And you're wondering, how can someone improve so much? Because improving to a world record stage, it's not so easy. It's not so something you can do overnight. You know, and I will show you this video here with Lycan, which Lycan is a very hard lap to drive, a very hard car to drive, you know? And I will forward this one. Let's hope I don't get... I will show you this section here, which shocked most people, including myself. And then this is what I call having the best inputs in your hand, the most imagine. I will just show you first. So I will just let it play, and then you will guys see what actually happened. So, one, two, two, sixty, one, two, three, four, five, six, six to seven, nitro breaks on a float. I can't even think of that in the moment. I cannot even mute this. Yeah, I don't know. So let's check again. So this is what Cool again is saying, possible with teeth. Make seven nitro breaks on a floaty, Mr. Cool. I know the speed is possible, but make seven nitro breaks in a floaty. Good luck with that, bro. The video here is not about the speed because you're confusing yourself, Mr. Cool. Look. Look at the nitro. I'm not talking about the speed. This is what people are just confusing. So this video is not about the speed. It's not only about the speed, sorry. The inputs here, he did six to seven nitro breaks in one floaty. You can now understand what kind of power you have in your hands. When you can do so many things in one floaty, imagine what kind of timings you have, what kind of consistency you have when you make a floaty 360 or when you make a nitro punch or Orange Punch, or whatever. If we check some other gameplay from Azimo, for example. Um, the abuse of controller is just real, man. Um, I don't have a specific run now to show from, from him. Where is it? The timings of the Nitro Punch and the Orange Punch, which we cannot do, by the way. 
and the floaties are it's like it's set to automatically or having a, a much higher per, uh, percent of a success rate so for me to do a floaty i have to think so much i, I have to process a lot of things and pray for a lot of things okay i hope it works i hope the timing is it's um i hope the timing is correct um and stuff but it's it's very hard on on controller they don't have to think much the things that they can do with the inputs it allows you it gives you so many extra possibilities to compete with so just learn it and done the thing is um, a lot of people are telling me, hey, just buy a controller, yeah, it costs this and buy it and it's not a big problem. And yeah, I can do that. It's not about the money. And the thing is, why do I have to switch? Why do I have to switch six years of experience of Tilt and move to Windows because it's just like a much better place to be. Like it's much better to compete with playing on a controller. Why should I do that? Why doesn't it have to be the opposite? Why is not Tilt better as a control itself? And we see more people switching to iOS to compete with that. But instead it's always the opposite. Why should I go there? We don't have your iPad 120 FPS. Don't worry, even my iPad is not 120 FPS yet. Imagine, I have to think so far in the game that I came up with a theory that when the game lags, your physics are not the same. And it's true. I noticed that. When it lags, my game doesn't react the same. The physics change. They're not normal anymore. Uh, they are glitched out. So, it's very weird to play on a device which the FPS just lower themselves and all of a sudden um, a lot of physics problems happen. So you say controller has an advantage but you don't want to switch to a controller. Not exactly that bro, because I will have to switch one day to compete. Um, I will have to switch one day to compete. Unfortunately for me. I cannot avoid it. I'm just speaking about the difference. And how upsetting it is that I have to switch my entire experience and everything because it's just better to be on a controller. It's just more competitive on every section. Most of the pro players admitted already to the truth. Um, Oyocha has also said that controller gives a huge advantage. Uh, to a lot of sections. There are maps that even himself, he has tried. And on Teal, for example, he never got these lap times. And he tried a controller just three times, and he got some lap times that he will never get. Look at this. He will never get these lap times on, um, on, on Tilt. Why don't you switch now? rather than later. I don't have the setup yet to switch. I could play on a controller on the on the iPad, but it's not the same. We saw Mr. Knight, one of the best players on Windows right now, who played on iOS with controller and he failed miserably. And you ask yourself, hey, why did he fail? Yeah, because the inputs are not the same or else he will destroy us. 
Why couldn't he compete with us? So, I hope at least Gameloft introduces a button which we can instantly shockwave with just one button, just like controller does. So that could solve a lot of problems. Controller will still be ahead, but it will fix a lot of problems in the game. And uh, yeah, at least it will lower the advantage between both of them. So, the instant shockwave is a huge thing. I will show you one lap, one lap, one Jesco lap that I saw. Ah, look at this. Anyway. Uh, when is the grand reveal? I think it's already happening uh, soon. The cross-platform will come on 17th of July and the game will never be the same again. And we will see that... Um, we will see the truth. So I'm already warning what's gonna happen. And I know what's gonna happen. Most of the leaderboards will be dominated by controller players. Most of the esports now will have new champions and there will be controller players as well. Every time you see a tilt player coming close or beating a controller player, that shows us that the controller can do so much better, can, can improve so much more. So it's like they're sleeping, you know, and if you push them a bit, they wake up and they're like, oh, yes, I have the, the godlike power in my hands. Let's make a good lap time. And where was Windows? All this time, you will, you will ask yourself, why didn't they dominate since the past? I can bring you the best example ever that broke the game back in the days. And everyone was questioning themselves. And they called Afik a cheater. If you check an old lab from Afik, <coughs> TVR, ancient ruins. He was wall riding at an impossible speed. He was having sections with... Um, with speeds that are beyond human understanding for back then. Cytokin was questioning himself and he was already saying, this is, this is impossible. Alex was also shocked back then. I was saying, hey, this guy is a cheater. There's no way this is possible. Only the controller can bring you such things. And they mentioned since the past and no one heard them because they couldn't really... Um, argue their point like you can do right now i can bring up arguments to explain why it's better i'm gonna just say yeah, it's better and yeah i'm just gonna close my ipad i can explain you why things are happening to this game and it's very obvious if you check uh, for example why 100 percent precision matters here if you check the fabulous his tvr laps and if you check his laps during um Wall ride, for example, his speed is beyond our understanding. And why? It's very simple. Because he has 100% precision. On the tap to steer, when you don't touch the screen, what happens to the car? It's automatically set at 100% precision. Um, for me, I don't have that on tilt. If I, just don't, if I just don't move my iPad, I'm not sure if I'm going to be 100%. I could be 98 that 98% is enough for me to kill my speed. So that's why he has speeds that are also amazing on top to steer on TVR. And that's why he has some really good laps in some maps with TVR. <coughs> New engine, but I don't think they will change the new engine. They meant like the game thing, but they will not change the physics and the engine of the game, the actual engine of the game. So it's not like going to be a completely new game.
What do you think about Switch Control, Nintendo? They have different physics and they will fix the physics for them so we can play equally because the physics bit and the speed stays high. So, yeah man, is there anyone that, there, there are players that are so delusional that are saying, There are players that are so delusional, but they're saying no, it's the same, and, com and Tilt has advantage on slower cards, and, <coughs> and Controller has on faster cards. That's false. I'm sorry to inform you. That's false. And th there are players who speak like this without any knowledge in the game, without any top ones, without any championships without any world records none of this and they're speaking as if they know how the game works there's a huge difference between a top 10 player and a world record player huge difference in the game people see okay it's like 200 300 ms yeah this that it's a huge difference knowledge wise especially and they're saying how can you speak so much about controller when you haven't, we have, when you have never even played it. And I'm telling you, I am able to analyze laps and ask myself the question why this is happening on a controller and why I cannot see it on tilt. And it's very obvious. Because earlier I missed the, the topic there. Where was Windows? Where was Windows? before driver 555 came it's like everyone was almost everyone was sleeping on windows and what happened when driver 555 actually came to knowledge and woke up he was making laps that are never seen before and could never be seen before until no matter how much you maximize the knowledge of this game you will never even come close and we were starting to think Okay, well, what, what is actually happening? Wow. Like he was proving more and more our, our point. And because of him, more and more controller players woke up to understand what kind of capabilities the controller has. And the controller capabilities, they are endless. You can reach the actual limit of the game if you know what you're doing with a controller. On tilt, I can never reach the limit, it's impossible. Because the human reaction and the inputs that we have, they stop us. We cannot align so fast, we cannot use nitro so fast. What's happening to my laptop? What? Okay, my laptop uh, closed for a moment. I got scared. Nice. My laptop good. So you're saying if there is a button to double, double tap brake nitro, and you will switch to tap to steer controller and tilt will be equal? Erina, I don't understand what you're saying, bro. Um, to not confuse things, tap to steer is not better than tilt to steer. Tap to steer just gives you the, the possibility to be 100% precise. That's it because of the control situation. They do, if they don't touch the screen, it's automatically at 100%. And just like controller. So back to the topic, as I was talking about driver, he's undeniably one of the best players out there. Uh, I'm not, I don't have any hate 
against any Windows, controller, keyboard, whatever players. I don't care. I just want to speak the truth and people to understand in, and admit the truth. For me, I just admire watching this gameplay because I can see what kind of... I can get closer to the limit of the game. So when I watch this gameplay of Windows, I just see what kind of possibilities are there in this game that uh, for me it's impossible to reach because of my controls but it's it's fu it's uh, funny to watch Look at this guy trying I already showed you the grand reveal the grand reveal is that the cross platform is coming on July 17th with the other big changes anyway Um, I don't have anything, as I said, against the controller players. They're very good, and it's um, it's funny to watch how more and more controller players are just waking up, and they're making laps that are that were nowhere to be seen two two years ago, let's say. <laughs> um, Turn. Just this turn already puts me 100 ms behind. Orange punch, which I cannot do on tilt. It's aligning a hand, like at 100% here and shock waving instantly. Let's go again back. Possible punch, instant alignment, 100% precision, plus shockwave instantly. Look. Align, boom. Instantly, boom, you don't even have time to... Look. Boom. Do you see the difference? Let's find my um, let's find my best um, I played a bit here with Chesco, yes. Let's see if I can find yes, maybe I have my video here. While well, the world record is fifty point six. I barely made 51.3 So look at my start I, will, I got here one of the good starts by the way Do you think controller players and Nintendo Switch players will have advantages over Tilt players? Controller, 100% they already have a huge advantage Nintendo I haven't studied yet uh, their controls, but because the physics are different, I never even looked at their gameplay yet. So I cannot really give you an answer for Nintendo. Do you see the difference? 
I turned was amazing. But of course I didn't do an orange punch. Of course I couldn't align immediately here at 100% and shockwave instantly, as the controller does. Look here, you can see the nitro. Look at my speed. Do you see this? Do you see what kind of speed I reach here? When I touch it. My speed here, it's 507. My speed is 384. Let's check a bit here. What's his speed here? Look, it never even dropped to 500. Never. And here it was full speed, 523. Even faster, actually. Can you believe that? Can you even fathom this for a moment? Okay, what's happening to this game? Wow. Is, isn't that shocking you or, or making you rethink of what your control is capable of? Look at this. A line, boom! It's, look. Remember my speed here was 384. He already surpassed 384 ages ago. And he reached here at 401. Can you even think a bit for a moment what's happening? And that's my best lap that I had, 51.3. And I'm so far behind already. MS-wise, I only lose, I only lost 100 something, it's not much. But can you see the speed difference now? Can you understand what's happening? It's very simple. And I'm sure if control if a controller players if a controller player plays a bit more on that map, they can make you even 50 low, 50.3. They can do that. But it's just that they are still a bit um, in a sleepy moment. You know, it's like they lack knowledge and they are like, okay, I'm just playing, and randomly my lap comes up like this. For me, for a lap to come up, it's so much different. It doesn't just come up like this, like a controller player. A controller player just plays and the lap comes, boom. You don't even have to think much. The difference is so huge. Um, that we cannot compete equally anymore. Nowhere, in the TLE, in the multiplayer, in esports, everywhere. And this is what's going to happen, as I said, on July 17th. In Club Clash, Windows will dominate. Uh, in eSports, they will dominate. On time-limited events, they will dominate. Multiplayer, anything that you can think of, by that time, uh, they will be far ahead from us. The, the tilt players have just to accept the reality as the way it is, you know. And we just have to accept that it's just much better than us, the controller gameplay. It's just much beyond of our human capabilities because with tilt it's like the human capability. Controller is the is the absolute not human capability but robot. Being a hundred percent a hundred percent precise is not human. It's robotic. So, yeah, man. I can then use controller. Yes, but that's what I will do. But I explained you already. Well, experienced players from both Android and iOS, no difference. It's funny you say that. It's funny you say that. Because a lot of people don't want to speak about it. They don't want to... Um, 
they don't want to speak the truth. And this is what annoys me the most. When they know the truth, but they don't admit it. They don't say, you know what, you're right, man. Like, you have some... Um, um, you have some really good arguments and you really can explain your thoughts in the simplest way possible. And yeah, you're right, man. It's, it really has an advantage. That still, that still doesn't make you a bad player. That still doesn't devalue your lap. It's just accepting and showing maturity and um, showing that you understand the game and you're not in denial and you're saying random things that come to your head because of your feelings. As another player was saying, oh, I feel like, oh, I'm feeling like on D-class, tilt is better. No, it's not better. It's not. With any car, it's not. It will never be. Never. You will argue, hey, tilt has a much better steering ratio, and I can steer as I want, and it's so great. And yes, we have this amazing advantage on tilt. You could argue that, but then you see these impossible turns that Windows players are making. And you're wondering, is it really true that we have a better steering capability or tilting capability than them? It's not. Because they proved us otherwise that they can make a turn much better than us, align much faster than us, use instant shockwave, and they will beat us in every section in this game, even in the air. <laughs> they are not cheaters on Windows. Don't confuse things. Our Dark Hyper and Amog already talked about the big difference on both platforms. Did they? I, I didn't see that. But seems they are hiding it, because when you speak the truth, they already, they immediately try to change the, the discussion. You, don't, you still don't understand the 100% precision thing. When I'm tilting right now, like this, it's not 100%. When I'm not moving like this, it's maybe 98%. It's not 100 Do you Do you understand now the difference? For example, Dark Hyper, now that you mentioned. He was, of course, very good on tilt, and he still is. But on con our controller, he admitted himself that his time-limited laps, his time-limited uh, laps come and makes a world record so much easier than on tilt. And it's a player who played with tilt his entire life. And he's arguably one of the best, if not the best, uh, multiplayer player on on Windows uh, on on Android. Sorry, he was, and he admitted that. And he's making all of his best laps right now. Most of his best laps right now are a controller. Did you ask yourself a question? Why? It's very obvious. <laughs> there is an explanation to everything here. Things are not randomly happening to this game like this. It's not random. The only thing I can do right now is to, to try and learn controller myself. If you take a player who has mastered the controller capability and the knowledge, and if you take an iOS player with a mastered tilt knowledge and tilly knowledge or an, and everything, um, controller will always be better no matter the scenario no matter the car no matter if the car goes with 200 no matter if it goes with 600 it will always be ahead mark my words one day 
when you wake up and understand how the game works, you will realize the truth. It's very simple. It's very easy. It's just a different game on uh, controller. It's just a different game. It's not the same anymore. One day you will wake up and you will say, you know what? He was actually right. <laughs> if you are on tilt and you reach the maximum knowledge, then you will see that things are like that. And there's nothing that you can do. It's just you accept the truth, speak about it. And when people expect you to make impossible lap times, sometimes you cannot do those lap times because it doesn't allow you. I have to deal here with a million problems on, uh, on tilt and on my iPad. When it lags, let's say, my physics are different. I'm getting single barrels, I'm getting half barrels, I'm getting random physics on the road. When, when you're on Windows and you have 200 plus FPS and, and it drops a bit, let's say, in some moments, you don't have these problems where randomly your laps are being killed um, where randomly your laps are being killed because of lag. So let's say I try to make the best lap in the game right now. In half hour, my iPad will heat up and then I will not be able to play normally anymore because it will stop me. The lag will stop me from the inputs. The input will be slower. It will not work. It will not register my tabs. Does win do Windows players have to deal with these problems? Those who have a high-end device, by the way. I'm not speaking about... Uh, uh, random average player maybe with a bad setup from 2012 so um, if you add everything up it's just amazing what the difference is you know it's shocking when alex was trying recently the eternal city jesco i was talking with him and i he was screaming to me and saying, I killed so many impossible laps uh, on the fourth barrel in the end. Uh, on the fourth barrel. And I explained to him, is your iPad lagging? Because if it's lagging, it's not even your problem. It's the game's problem. You don't deal with these problems on Windows. And then he said, you're right. My iPad is lagging, he said. And then he checked that every time his iPad was lagging, his physics were different and was reacting different. And he was saying, you're right, man. And he was shocked that this the truth came up to him also. Now that I'm playing Path of the Wind, it reminded me of the S Elite. If anyone remembers Path of the Wind, why iOS or Android? I'm not going to speak about Android because they're... Uh, they couldn't, came, they, they were never able, let's say, to beat us in almost all of the events. <laughs> but um, Path of the Wind with S-Class. Did you ever ask yourself why iOS never made 52? <laughs> <laughs> and we have Oyocha, which, is, um, which arguably is such an amazing player with S-Class cars. With all classes, actually, with all the cars. I decided to... Uh, push hard on the last two, one, two S elites. And I wanted to make 52 as the first iOS player with 52. With Venom also, because with uh, Tuatara it was much harder. And again, there was a huge difference between a controller and tilt. They were making the start, which was the most important thing in Path of the Wind with, this, with the flats. In almost every attempt, it was coming like this, boom, 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 boom. Every time, we, having the best speed when landing, the best alignment, everything, instant shockwave, and so on. They were already far ahead, just from the start. Far more consistent. I could play 14 fuels, and I will mess up the start, 12 of them. Just so you can understand the difference. There were times I messed up all of my fuels, actually. Um, it was really hard to do, to deal with. 
I made 53.0 and so did Oyocha. We came close to 52, but we never made it. I came up with some new knowledge for Tilt because uh, as a Tilt player, I always have to come with new stuff to deal with the problems that we have. Look at this. To deal with the problems that we have, I have to come up with new stuff. Okay, let's. I have to invent this. I have to find a way around the controller advantage for me to be able to compete. There, there reaches a point though that uh, no matter what you do, you can never find a way around it anymore. You know, <laughs> that's the reality, man. You guys think I have some kind of hate on the controller players or I I hate them with a passion or, or whatever. As I said, the controller gameplay is just inspiring, it's motivating, you know? It's motivating us to show us what kind of gameplay is possible in this game, but we will never be able to reach it, you know? It's just amazing to watch. And I really respect these players who can understand and reach the limit of the game. That's why when Driver came, all of a sudden, more and more players were waking up on, on Windows. And more and more players became so good suddenly. It was very sudden change. The game changed forever. If you ask Driver today, He's in, in denial, for example. If you ask him, hey, there's a big difference and a huge dis, uh, disadvantage on tilt, he will say no. He will say probably like both have their advantages and, dis and disadvantages. He will not admit the truth, but deep down he knows it. You know, that's very upsetting. I can learn, let's say, the controller, I can test it, but it's not guaranteed that I will master and be good with it. If I am able to master the controller, then I will destroy all of my Tilly laps, all of them. I have so many world records that I have never posted, now it's lagging, look. Um, I will destroy all of my laps, I'm not, not even talking about a single lap that will stay on, on Tilly. If I maximize, if I max my knowledge and master the, the controller with a good setup, I will beat all of my laps and it will shock everyone. People will be like, oh yeah, wow, he, he was right. Oh yes, good morning. I can beat all of my laps. What if they're just simply better players? How to answer you this without insulting, let's say? <laughs> um, because also another player told me this. I don't know if you can call someone better when they just have a better controller. Uh, a, a better control than you. You know? So you can compare and say, you know what? He's better than me on the same control. So I can say, hey, Oyocha is better than me in these maps and I am better in these maps than you. I'm better with these cars than him and he's better than these cars than me. But to say they're just better it's generalizing the entire thing and it's 
it's not a, it's not true. It's not like we have not maximized the game knowledge. It's not like we are behind and we're like, okay, I don't understand why how to make a nitro break. Um, I don't understand how to go fast here. There are sections like that, like that. Yes, but um, for them to call them better. It's impossible to even bring it up in the first place because it's not comparable, you know? I cannot say Azimo is better than me or I'm better than him. It's impossible. Even if I have a 10, 20 laps that are better than him, I can still not say that because we cannot compare equally. We cannot. As I said, the only left, the only thing left for me is to speak the truth about this game, what's gonna happen, how the game works, as I explained right now. Look at this guy slaving all day. Um, explaining how the game works. Yeah, no. uh, gonna play like this with my hands up. Uh, I can explain how the game works and stuff. And the only thing I can do, as I said, is to to try controller myself. Hopefully, I can um, master it. Hopefully, I cannot guarantee and and tell you. You know what? If I try controller, I will destroy everyone. Uh, I cannot say that because it's just delusional from my side. I cannot be delusional. I have to speak the truth. Maybe I play with controller and I say, you know what, fuck this. I'm, I'm not good at it. I'm shit. But the reality would still say the same regardless of if I learn it or not. As I said, when you compare the best tilt player and the best controller player with both having the same knowledge, controller will always beat um, yeah, the controller will always beat Tilt players. I have such a bad start. I guess I'm focusing too much on the talking and I'll mess up the race. Look at this. Random bump. Single barrel. Have you noticed when you turn... Um, yeah, look at that. When you turn the GP ghost on, you get more single barrels. And the physics change. That's what happens. That's what happens when the iPad lags. The same physics scenario come up almost the same not exactly the same almost the same you get single barrels you get random stuff happening on the road which are unexplainable yes you see this guy played with it two three times but it was hard to play some people are not um some people are not um, meant to be for a controller, you know? Maybe I'm just born and I I love controller. I always played with it on a PlayStation and I played Call of Duty and all of these random games and I prefer over it and that's how you can maximize it. But for me, when I never played with controller, I cannot even expect to come even close to the potentiality of controller. But maybe I understand and maybe I learn how to play with it.
Well, I don't think you can even consider it as an advantage in the first place because you chose... So this is where the denial starts again. This is what a lot of players are telling me. And I'm telling you, once again, because you don't, you don't seem to understand. Uh, his arena driver 14109, whatever. Um, regardless of if I switch or not, the truth will stay the same. I started playing this game in 2018. How would I know in 2018 um, that the controller will be better, for example? How would I know that? As I said, the most upsetting thing is that I have to switch six years of experience of Tilt and go to the controller. Regardless if I switch or not, the advantage will stay the same. It will always be better. How can you say that you have not tried? Oh, 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 what are you saying? You're speaking bullshit. But guess what? I'm not randomly making world records here. World records don't randomly come or top one in time limited event labs. So I am able to judge and see why are they making better luck than us? Are they just better than us or is something else happening? Think terribly right now. Nice. FPS drop on Android is worse than iOS. It is. It could be. I'm. I'm. I'm not sure. I have not tested myself. But I've seen a lot of bad things. I mean, on Android, and I've seen someone um, switch from Android to iOS, like Mr. Elite Joe, and on iOS he got so much better, all of a sudden, so now he is, it's not that he was not good, he was very good already, but now he is much better in the game. Hey Ryan, show me some peak controller gameplay. Just turn up to any Azimo video, night video, 555 video, and you will see what kind of abuse happened. <coughs> oh, good damn it. Nice. I was playing esports final and I couldn't even record my races. Why? Because I was scared it was gonna lag. Do you think GP lobbies will also be mixed? Everything will be, be mixed, bro. It's close pattern. It all comes up together. Esports will be all together. Everything will be in one platform.
Join PC with a controller. Rev has always wanted you anyway. If I join now, Rev, with my current condition, I'm nowhere close to their best players. Can you fathom that for a moment? Imagine making world records, top ones, and all of these things, and then you join Rev and you're just a random average player to them because, yeah, they're just making much better laps with a controller. Simple as that. You're not I'm nowhere close to, the, um, to their lap times in, in, in Clash. I've checked some lap times and they are insane. And for me, to do them on tilt, it's... It's so impossible, you know, <laughs> how to say to you, you know, I wish I could say, um, I can do them and I can beat it. Maybe I could if I played like 2000 times, but I'm not going to play one street 2000 times. I don't think Rev will want uh, average lap times for them in, in the clash. As I said, if I learn controller, I hope I can master it. I hope so. I, I, I don't know. I cannot speak about it right now. I hope I can master it. Maybe I can show the true potential of this game, what the cars are capable of doing in every map, and uh, make some laps that make some sense, and not just abuse the controller because it's the controller. I've seen so many Windows players just abusing the controller. They have so much power with it. They just do anything they want, and the lap time comes. We don't even have to think much. Oh, Yacha. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Ahmed. I <laughs> That's right, yeah, in a couple of months they became top players. Why do you think a lot of Tilt players have stopped even posting some lap times on YouTube? Because the controller players can easily destroy it after after the reference they wake up and they're like oh yes wow let's just beat this guy now and uh, yeah after the, after the, the the reference and the knowledge of course they wake up and they say oh yeah let's um, let's beat their lap and they don't beat it with a small difference they beat it with a huge difference if I bring up one lap to my mind, hmm. for example, Alex posted um, peer pressure, Bugatti, Cento Dieci, one five point, what, point eight? What was it? What's happening to the game? Um, he made 15.8 or I don't remember the lap time, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, whatever it was. And then driver, he saw the lap, the reference that Alex made it and on purpose, I mean, not on purpose, who knows if it was on purpose. I cannot say if it was on purpose because I will be in denial if I say so. He copied the route and he improvised in the controller way and he made 15.0. So he beat it by... Uh, 600, 800 ms, which is huge. It's huge. And there was a huge embarrassment to Alex after that. Hey, driver made this. Hey, why watch your lap when he made so much better? Hey, you're useless. It's, a, it's an embarrassment, you know? 
because the lap time is a huge difference. If it was like 100, 200 MS, then you're okay, yes, we can deal with it. But it was a huge difference. He just abused the controller. Simple as that. I hope by, um, by this time next year I have already switched to controller or tried at least, not switched. I don't know if I will ever switch fully there, but um, I hope I have tried the controller and became at least good with it. Let's remember the date, 26th of March. We will come back one year later, hopefully I have tried controller myself and and see if I have a setup by then because I don't know if I will have a setup a good setup and then and maybe I can I hope I get good with controller and I promise you guys I promise I make you a promise that I will I will show some limits in the game that are are beyond our un our understanding. What do you mean abuse the controller? Dionysus, I mean abusing the controller inputs. I will show you a lap so you can understand later. Abusing the controller means uh, abusing the um, uh, the inputs. So basically, you are abusing like orange punch, insane nitro breaks, nitro punches, insane alignment, instant shock wave everywhere. Uh, of course, that's what I call abusing. But boom, like this, like they, they go like this. Uh, and then they wreck. <laughs> wow, amazing. Uh, ask Furina for some tips. He was able to transition to controller very quickly. He could help you transition. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I was actually planning to make um, like a very scientific video explaining and titling it the truth. Uh, Asphalt 9 or Asphalt Legends Unite, whatever the new name. The truth. And uh, showing carefully and talking in the background, explaining the truth, bro. The truth about how this game works. I, I think I already explained now a lot. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about that actually. And I have told a lot of people that I'm going to make it. But uh, I'm not sure I'm... I'm not sure the system allows me to do that. It's going to create a lot of trouble in this game. setting thing is not um, the advantages that the controller has itself. It's just advantages. You cannot, you cannot be upset about it. That's how it is. What can we do? The most upsetting thing is that people that are in denial, those who don't accept it, those who say, you know what, no, it's the same, and it's controller until it's the same, and what are you talking about, and, and speaking all these things, uh, but they will never they will never talk about it they will never see the truth and the truth will come up slowly and they will just look 
at uh, you know at, at the positions when controller will always be ahead on time limited events on multiplayer on uh, on esports they will not say it was controller that did it it would just look at the results and say okay i see him as top one yes he's the best player yes for sure but it will not see the truth behind it there's a lot of things behind happening before a top player that gets top one somewhere The previous ESL that I played, I, have to, I had to deal with your fire playing extremely dirty on this sports event. And I can understand because it's about money and of course, but he was just playing extremely dirty. Imagine having to deal with such things. Who's not admitting this truth? Why don't you ask point blank, point blank, uh, driver 555? Five five. He's not admitting the truth. He doesn't want to admit the truth. Some others admit, okay, you know what? Controller is just better because it, it has instant shockwave. But they don't mention all of the advantages. They just mention controller advantage on the instant shockwave. It's not only that. That's just one of the advantages. People will never look at, um, at the truth or accept the truth or admit it. They will just look at the results. Yeah, he made a better lap than you, so he's just better than you. Go get better. And yeah, you're this, you're that. Maybe the trailer is in five minutes, I'm not sure. I'll have to check. But yeah, man, it's the, um, the sad reality, that's it. I don't know, if anyone has a question and still doesn't understand, I can still explain a few more things for you guys. But... Oh, I... I knocked this guy down. So let's ask this question now, all right here. Yeah. I don't even have a keyboard, imagine my setup now. Making a pool now. Let's see what people answer. <laughs> P 
Premiere is now. So let's see if I can. Husband. Jedes Spiel hinterlässt Schmutz und Gerüche. So let's see here. Wow. The game is gonna look so much different, so much. Yeah, bro. What? Why are you shocked? They will change their physics, don't worry. Garage level 17, 124 cars, so that means they will change it completely. Unite Pass? What? The game looks so much more different. Oh my god. <laughs> Multiplayer career, and here is probably the friend list or something. 15. It's amazing if you could see your friends active and stuff. And it would be amazing if they fixed the local leaderboard situation. The club could be here, the chat, and I don't know. This is the chat, and then you go to clubs.
is how it will also look like here. So look how it look up the upgrade section also. But why is the rank so low? Ah look it's they have the black series AMG but here it's countage so I don't understand this is a confusing part. I hope they don't change their ranks and everything completely because So yeah, and uh, cross-platform will change the game forever. Okay, Azimo, I thought the world record was 50.6, don't... I haven't seen that screenshot, thank you for sending me, it's 50.541. Got that. <laughs> Abraham is watching his hands. Very interesting.
Yes. <laughs> Top gameplay. Let's add the redeem code here. Uh, my keyboard, man. Okay, I added the code. So let's check the chat. Did 10 nitro bakes with tilt. Why don't you show a video? Let's see. <laughs> the guy came up here. Let's see if you can show a video, maybe. Thank you, Lambo. So what do you guys think of the, um, the trailer?
so big. I will ask you this question. Do you, in your mind, do you think that the controller is, um, controller is, is worse than tilt or equal? It's equal. <laughs> Do you guys see the denial? I think he's even lying to himself right now. Yeah, sure, bro. So on tilt, you never made a world record, but um, on controller, you suddenly made a bunch. That's very equal. Bro, even Oyocha, your brother Oyocha, which you mentioned him right now, he admitted that the controller is much better as well. So I don't know what you're smoking. And you see, guys, what I'm talking about, the, the denial. This is the worst part about the controller players. They don't want to admit the truth, because deep down they know I'm right. It's always like that. The guy was a nobody before Windows. He went to a controller. He went, he went to a controller, suddenly making laps that are beyond his skill cap. Far beyond. <clears throat> Mion, they can't, no, no. Even Mion cannot beat it easily. He is very smart indeed. He is extremely smart. But no. Yeah, that's it. So this is what happens. First, the denial session. People deny the truth. And then it, they say, just try it yourself, man. Like, why are you complaining? Oh, just try. Just buy a controller. Yes. So first, the denial comes. They say, no, it's equal. And it's the same. And it's skill mattered. And then they say, yeah, but uh, if that's the case, just, just buy a controller. <laughs> very, very easy, yeah? very easy to say for you. trapped him with that um, with that question Ahmed even cool RPM cool by the way his other best friend he said that the controller is better than tilt and he said that with controller you are far more competitive it gives you a lot more options to be competitive unlike tilt so even all of his brothers are admitting the truth slowly they are getting to it uh, but himself, he's denying it because he doesn't want to devalue his laps. He doesn't want to do that. You know, it's... I'm just saying, bro, are you... In such a denial, really. Are you so dumb? How, how to speak to you without insulting, really? I'm saying, did you see anyone on Switch without the drift of use be better than iOS? How can you compare Switch, bro? How can you even talk about that platform when they have different physics in the first place? Yes, Mr. Add or Subscribed, uh, Subtract, Subtract account, Alt account. He plays on both and he has, he has experience with both. And guess what? On Windows, somehow he's a million times better than on Tilt. And somehow on Windows, he can make world records. On Tilt, it took him 
couple decades to even get a TVR lap, which I don't even know if it's a world record, by the way. And that's it. And he did some shortcut laps, and that's it. <laughs> it's so funny, really, to, to see this. And you can just see it live, how someone with denial acts. It's so stupid to mention Switch here. You have to be super dumb to mention that, by the way. I'm sorry to, to speak like this, but you have to be dumb, bro. Why mention even Switch in the first place? The only one complaining around is me. It's not only me, bro. I'm here to speak the truth. Okay? Whether your friends don't like to speak about the truth because they want to be friends with you, that's it. Bro. But the truth is the truth. I will speak it. Whether I will lose some friends, whether some people hate me because I know they hate me, I don't give a shit before I talk worse. Let's see who's better at tilt when Unite comes. Bro, I'm far better than you on tilt in every section, every aspect of this game. Every car. You might be good maybe in TVR 1000 minutes. That's it. With tilt. You're nowhere even close to me or Yocha. Anyone else with tilt. Anyone. From the top, from the top iOS players, by the way. Yeah, bro, uh, tilt and uh, controller is the same, but uh, somehow I made my world records on, uh, on a controller. All, all this time I didn't do anything, but when I switched on a controller, uh, suddenly I made uh, world records. It doesn't come like this, bro. It doesn't come like this. You don't suddenly make a world record. You don't wake up and say, you know what? I will make it. Or suddenly improve. It's not about complaining or whatever. It's not about, yeah, this. I'm just there to speak the truth. Those who deny it and want to stay silent so they can prove a point which does not even exist, that's what's upsetting. You know? You, it feels like you speak as, as if I have hate against controller players. I'm speaking the truth as it is. We cannot have the things that the controller has and we will never have them. I can only ask you one question. Where is the instant shockwave? You cannot answer that question because we don't have it. We don't have it, bro. Even the simplest question. Imagine I ask you more things about this game. You will not be able to answer. So how can you say that it's equal when we don't have the same controls? What you guys saw right now with Big, it's the same denial, the same reaction, the same behavior with 555. He will also act the same. He, don't want, he doesn't want to speak the truth. So what are you planning to do separate? He is here, you see. <laughs> he is here, bro. He knows. It. Look, look at this guy. He knows it. deep down. He knows. Come on, bro. Don't uh, don't hide, bro. I'm just. I'm not gonna separate the controller from T D board. I'm not planning any of that denial moments you have in your brain, bro. I don't know what denial thoughts you have in your brain, maybe to make up a story. I don't know what you're trying to say. Mm. 
mathematically it will not lose only 0 to 0 to at most per lap I think it will lose more it's not just 0 to or I don't know if you're mentioning 200 ms or 20 ms the way you're writing it like that but it makes a huge difference in a lot of sections having that thing acceleration wise and aligning wise when I can align like this boom and instantly shockwave with 100% precision which I don't have on tilt it makes a huge difference in the lap time being able to make a turn and instantly align and have the car straight and instantly shockwave it's huge, especially for S-Class. So that's why we see a, a major difference in S-Class. The slower the car, of course, it gets the smaller the difference, but it's still enough of a difference to lose a top one. I'm talking about top one here. I'm talking about picking the best iOS player and the best Windows player there. there is, the best controller player there. I'm not talking about just an average gameplay of top 10 or whatever. I'm talking about when you go to the absolute limit of this game, you will always be behind. Hey, Sefia. Okay, no, it's a shock and that's it. <laughs> okay. Tell me what happens to your car when you don't touch the steering, by the way. Can we do orange punch on, on iOS? Do you realize how important it is to have your car at 100% precision, like a controller has? Can you even fathom that moment in your head? Like, you say now, many C9 players have S-Class world records. And again, as I, as I said, every time tilt is ahead, it just proves how dumb still controller players are it just proves again the point it took them a lot of time to catch up to this it only took driver to come up and make some lap times and then suddenly a lot of windows players woke up and they're like okay you know what i have some impossible godlike power in my head but nobody does Nobody does orange punch. But did you see earlier? I showed, I showed Paris. Nobody does orange punch. He's even lying to himself now. Why are you lying, bro? Like, just say the truth. Tilt has a human limit. Controller is like a robot. It can act actually reach the ultimate limit of this game. Do you understand what I'm speaking? You were very 
you were very close. But himself, he admitted he can make much better laps on controller. Why is that? Why can he make much easier laps? And why is it so much better for him? Why did Oyocha admit that controller is better on every aspect and he made for the first time ever in his life 58.6 in Cheno Diechi roller coaster? He never made it on tilt. Do you ever ask this, yourself these questions? Bro, he, you said nobody uses. You didn't say yourself. First you said, nobody does orange punch, you said. You're talking about everyone, which is a very huge word. For you, I have to check your laps again about orange punch or whatever. But uh, I easily showed earlier a gameplay. He turns a bit, runner tried it. What? It, it has a 100% precision, you, you abomination of existence, you abomination of existence. God damn it. Why is the difference so much bigger on S-Class against tilt players? Are we just losing knowledge there all of a sudden? Are we are so much worse in the game? Especially with Devil 16, which is... Devil 16 on controller is a completely different car than on Tilt. Ever thought about that? Oh yes, we are just uh, clueless and we don't have knowledge and all of a sudden we are so much behind on S-Class. It's so explainable all of this. It's just, yeah bro, just uh, just get good in the game and um, yeah, everything will be fixed. By some miracle, I have not checked C9 players' laps. Are they using Tilt to steer or are they using the other one? Master control, some kind of, some kind of shit. Well, what is that? Other control. If you add up all the advantages together in one lap, in the end, it makes a huge difference. Most by far the most try harded controller map combo ever. Well, as you saw, your lap can be improved and be beaten because of knowledge, again. Windows players 
are lacking knowledge, but they have the best weapon in their hands. Once they wake up one day and they're like, you know what? I know everything about this game and I know how it works. You will make the actual limit of this game. How does that sound? They copy pasted your run? <laughs> If tilt and controller was the same or equal as you guys say, because I think you're the only two people that I know that are a hundred percent not accepting this truth. I genuinely believe that Windows players lack knowledge, yes. If they actually put all the knowledge into one place and try to make a limit lab. They will destroy any iOS lab there exists. If there was no difference between tilt and controller, they said, no one would switch to a controller all of a sudden and become a good player, by the way. And we will have so many more players playing on iOS and being good. So why all of the good players are somehow on a controller? Or them switching from tilt to controller, suddenly you make them, you see them making a huge improvement. You guys feel as if I have like a crazy hate or look in this lag. As if I have a like a hate or something on on Windows or you or anyone. A beautiful 4K screen, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they switch from tilt to controller, not from iOS to Windows. <laughs> from iOS to Windows controller, yes. <laughs> I'm not good in seal it. I 
I mean, I've made 20.4, but... The guys are acting as if I have hate on them. I just want to speak the truth. And the truth is that... We don't have 100% precision. We don't have instant alignment, instant inputs, instant shockwave. We don't have these crazy inputs. And we will never have them. It's impossible. You don't even understand where, where my point of view is coming from here. I will try with Panamel. I don't like. Maybe I can learn how to do 120 point something. This, the switch between the nitros, like how you can easily shock wave like that, it makes a huge difference. Everywhere in the lab. Not only the parts where you need the instant shock wave. Uh, like the heel part, for example, if I'm comparing like Huracan, um, St. Peter. One second. In these moments here, in every turn, you need the instant shockwave. You need it. You need the instant alignment. You need all of this. Every turn there is. The straighter the map it is, of course, the less you need it. But on every turn, here, I need it. Here, I need it. I need it pretty much on every section in this game. How can it be just 20 ms better than the normal tilt lap? It's so... It's so stupid to say that. It's so falsely calculated. There's no way in the world that calculation is correct. In no universe or existence that's correct. Uh, here, I need it. I need it everywhere. I will show you one lab that I saw in World Channel, which I've tried, like, um, I've tried um, St. Peter who I can so much, okay, and I know all of the interactions and the differences, and let me show you this. Where you need the instant shock or the instant nitro here. Look, and then we go. Here you need it. Boom. Instant. Where else do you need it? Hmm, let me think. Oh yes, here. Here you also need the instant. Do you ever question yourself how many sections you need? what you need in this game. Where do you need the amazing nitro breaks inputs everywhere? If you do a comparison, a tilt interaction versus a controller interaction, you can see a huge difference again. Look here. Here, basically, which this guy must have you need to 
get the bottle and instantly shockwave. I cannot turn it off. It doesn't work. Here, you need to instantly change to shockwave. And the faster you do it, the more lap time you save. And on tilt, we are limited because of the instant problem shockwave situation. But here, tuck, instantly, you see how important everything is. Oh yes, it's just 20 ms. In which scenario was it? In which scenario was it 20 ms? It's stupid to say that. And this is just a simple run I showed you. If I take every run there ever exists, there are so many advantages that we cannot even... If, if I check your... Um, not your channel, wait, cars. The Vuelto Tiber again, I'm showing this part. I'm gonna show again this story which we and I as we fail to do. Maybe we are not knowledgeable enough, I guess, out of trying a thousand times and we failed all of them. But you guys were getting it. We failed all of them and you guys were getting it um, eight out of 10 times. How can we compare that mathematically? How can we make this turn here like this? A line boom, shock. How can this be just 20 MS? Yes, in the entire lap, it's it's a huge denial, and it's, it's mathematically wrong. Look. We went here like this. His execution was bad, by the way, here, but he still kept. 333 was his lowest speed, and can be much can be even better than this. He failed here. We never got this speed here. We cannot get this speed here. Go 333. Ooh. Failed this turn. But okay, I'm not going to talk about that. Maybe I can just do this. What is that? But yeah. In such a way. We need it in every round. Everything, everywhere you need to change, after you are live, after a, a drift part, after every section there exists, you need these things. So it cannot be just, okay, you know what, I need the shockwave only at the start. Uh, you would be in a huge denial if you say that. So yeah, I wish I could say the same. I, I have no problem saying that. I, instead, I will deal with less hate but I just have to say it how it is, and this is how it is. This is what I'm noticing myself. This is what I'm studying here. I'm checking the laps and saying, okay, what's the difference between... Um, what's the difference between um, these both controls, you know? And it's very obvious. Anyway, I think uh, I streamed enough. Let's see how long it is, two and a half hours. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's the only thing left for me to do, add or subtract. Um, I think I've reached the... Um, let's say not the max potential, but a very top tier potential on tilt. And I don't think I can find any other ways to go around it anymore to be able to compete esports wise, let's say, or a TLE top one wise against a controller top player. I don't think there is a way around it. Or else I will have to spend a million of attempts to make what they can do in just five attempts. So it makes no sense for me to, to do such things because even after a million attempts, I will still be behind. So, um, the only thing left to do, as I said, is to switch 
to controller and hopefully I can master it. And then uh, by that, maybe I can showcase what the true limit of this game is, because it's very, um, it's not like they have not shown it already, but I would like to also show some really great laps. Why not? So that's the only thing I can do right now. My, uh, my Regera lap that I posted, by the way, here. My Regera lap here that I posted. Next time this event comes, the controller player will be able, will be easily able to destroy my lap. Easily, without any issues. I believe in like, what, like 10 attempts, they can destroy this lap. And this took me like one and a half thousand tokens or something. I'm trying a lot in this lap. Especially with Eskens, it makes a huge difference. Having a very nice time punch, aligning, being from Shockwave where you need it, I have to double tap where you saw the interaction. It makes a huge difference. Here, making a very nice time punch, it's in Shockwaving, boom. The flow team will be so much better aligning and this and shock will help here in the situation again. Especially the end, the controller here will completely destroy my end. Completely. Here especially. And especially here. Okay. Here they will have the best speed also, which also will change the lap. And that's how easily my lap will get beaten next time it comes. I cannot do much anymore to 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 save the situation, bro. We get you. You're not gonna win a cell anymore in case of Platinum United, and you are sad about it. And it's unfortunate. Many people want to cross play, and they're gonna deliver. It's not. It's not just about that, man. I'm just saying, like, competitive wise. Um, we cannot compare and compete equally. Uh, so yeah. Maybe I do win ESL, maybe I don't win anymore. Doesn't matter. I just speaking the truth here as it is and I hope more people just notice it and um, understand a bit the situation. But yeah, here I have the example again. I had an amazing turn, but it was not enough to keep all of my speed. Here, if I was a controller, I could align faster and keep my car 100% straight to keep all of my speed. But instead, my speed is just this. So. I showed you earlier the, the difference here. Where is the lap? Just 
these parts are just beautiful. It can be even better actually, but... It's just in, in, inspiring to watch, that's it. Anyway, enough with uh, ranting or whatever. I just hope I showed a bit of the truth there. And yeah, man, it is what it is. We have to deal with the things the way they are. And we just hope we, we can find a way around this. Hopefully there is a way around. <laughs> But there is not, so yeah, it's okay. We can just try to come close to the competition, and that's what we can do as tilt players. We can just come close, but I don't think we can ever surpass or beat the controller power. Not the controller players, but the controller power. So, um, I guess it's enough for today, like three hours stream, enough. I hope to stream many times soon again. I hope it doesn't take three months, <laughs> but I uh, will try to keep it more often, I guess, because a uh, problem if I don't stream. Yeah, I would like to stream on Windows one day, hopefully, when I have, when I have the setup, but for now I don't have anything, so. Anyway. Thanks guys for the for showing up. We reached 65 viewers at one point, I think. No. Yes, we reached a lot. 68 actually. And thank you for the support, even though my channel is dead. And until next time, I hope I woke some people up from this stream. So until next time. Ciao.